The federal government has sent about 200 agents from the U.S. Marshal Service, the FBI, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. The streets tonight are quiet in Kenosha. Our crew has not seen any protesters. Stephanie Haynes is there live where she talked to residents who have some mixed feelings about the presidential visit. Stephanie. Steve, we just got word from the White House, a little more detail about the president's schedule tomorrow. He's going to fly into the Waukegan Airport. He's going to come here, survey the damage. He's going to participate in a roundtable among a few other scheduled items. But people in Kenosha are hoping everything goes smoothly. Minutes before curfew on Monday night, people in Kenosha taking a few moments of calm before what could be a busy Tuesday when President Donald Trump visits Kenosha. I feel like it's, it's really, really kind of like broken down along political lines, the way people feel. In a letter to the president, Governor Evers suggested the president hold off on his trip. Kenosha's mayor and the county executive said they agree. Kenosha County Sheriff David Beth said the visit doesn't make things easier for law enforcement after an already tough week. Does anyone of, of that stature create more uh, work for us? It does. People like Michael Barnes think the president is making the right call. I just think it makes sense because he's a president and he should know what's going on. It's a big situation. Michael believes the president should talk to Jacob Blake's family and also hear from people whose businesses were destroyed. Kenosha Police Chief Daniel Miskinis was working out plans with the Secret Service Monday afternoon. Sheriff Beth said they will make sure to keep the president and the city safe. But some people, like Amanda Feltner, are still worried. It seems like it's just now starting to calm down and we kind of gotten the outsiders that came in. I feel like it's just going to draw more attention and they're going to try to figure out a way to come back. Amanda wants her city to get back to normal as soon as possible. The White House has said that the president is looking forward to his visit tomorrow. Live in Kenosha, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Steve.